Hi, welcome back in part three. And in um, this part, we're going to do a lot. We keep continue working on our design. Uh, we are going to cut out the speaker holes, uh, all the grips, the ventilation holes, the cutouts for the airflow for the PC. And we're going to make the control panel and the control panel box, which is a little bit more complex, and uh, but it will be a lot of fun. So I will put a timer on and we'll try to get this tutorial under the 20 minutes as promised. So let's get started uh, by cutting out the speakers here. Let's select this panel, which is called the speaker panel, right click on it and uh, select isolate. And this is a beautiful way of working on this panel alone. Now select the face of this panel, right click on it and select create sketch. And now we have a beautiful front view of this uh, panel. Press the L tool for line and look at the a triangle which appears in the middle. This is the center of this speaker panel. So let's make a line like this. Let's do the same for the left side. Let's make a line like this. Only one side is needed. And now we select this line and we press X, X on the keyboard which makes it uh, a construction line. We press C on the keyboard. We select the center of this panel and we will make this cut out 100 millimeter, depending on which kind of speaker you are using. And we can do the same thing here, but we can also use a small trick, which is called mirror. So to do that, we go to create, we select mirror, we select the circle, we select here the mirror line, which is the center line. And by magic, um, it is done. So finish sketch. Now select the two circles, press E for extrude, minus 80 millimeters, and our speaker panel is done. So let's select it, right click, choose unisolate, and there is our speaker panel. So the fun part is when I edit this, um, this sketch, and um, Let's, uh, uh, let's change this speaker diameter to 50 millimeters and press finish sketch. Now you can see, let me turn off the sketch, that my model is updated accordingly, which is really handy. So let's uh, get back to my 100 millimeters, just like this. And this is how this works. So this is the speaker panel. Now let's do the same for the top panel. Uh, let's select it, right click and do isolate. Um, let's look at it, just like that. Create a sketch, like this. And this uh, does not need to be in the center, but let's make a air vent. Let's do create rectangle center point rectangle, center rectangle. Let's choose the middle and make a rectangle. And we will make this uh, 740, oh, 745, is this correct? Let me check my dimensions, 475, sorry. 475 by 45. Let's click finish sketch. Now let's select it and remember that because we made um, uh, construction lines, now we can just select it, extrude it by 18 millimeters. If I did not use construction lines, uh, let's say, let's edit it. This is a better example. Let's uh, press X and press X. So now these are not construction line. And now if I select it, I would only select this part. So you see, uh, this is really annoying. So make sure to use construction lines. This is easy. So extrude them by 18 millimeters like this. Perfect. Now let's um, unisolate the top panel. This is the top panel sketch. Always name your sketches. Um, now we are going to do the same thing um, here, I think. Let's create a sketch. I do not need to isolate it. I just create a construction line in the middle. 
I, if you press S, you will get in the shortcut menu and then you can type in center and then you can do a center rectangle like this. Make it uh, 475 by 45. A finish sketch and extrude it by 18 millimeters just like this. Um, okay, let's get some grips uh, because you need to open the doors, of course. There will be a hinge here. We need to open the door. So let's oh, right click, create sketch. Let's select the center of this panel. Uh, don't forget this does not look like the center, but this is because we only can see one of the side panels. So now it looks much better and now it looks centered. So if you find it difficult uh, to um, estimate, just make sure that both panels are on. Anyway, make this a uh, construction line. Now let's say that it, it will not be in the middle, of course. So it can be anywhere we want and we can change it later. Make, make this a construction line as well. Press the S key. Uh, type center rectangle and now I will make a rectangle that is, let me see, uh, 104 uh, millimeters wide and 52 millimeters in height. Let's um, click on it. As you can see this sketch is not defined because it does not know where it is in space yet. But we don't know this either. So for now, let's give this a dimension of uh, 125 and now the sketch is defined. Now double click on it, create a mirror again, select the center line, press OK or enter. And now we have uh, the two cutouts. Now let's select them, oh, extrude them by 18 millimeters and now we made the grips. Now let's do that again. And I will speed it up a little bit and we'll see you back in a minute. Okay, great. We are on our way. So now let me show you, let me open up the side panel. This will be the panel where the computer will be at. So quickly, let me make a computer for you. Press X and let's type in box. Now select this plane and I will quickly just estim oh, sorry, estimate a computer just like this. So let's give this a name. Uh, where is it? Oh, sorry. Um, box. Just like this. And I make it a new body just like this. So here's my computer and this computer needs some airflow. So some air needs to go from left to right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to call this computer and I will turn it off. I'll turn the side piece back on. Where's my side, my side here. And now I'm going to, sorry, re-enable the computer and put a visual style with hidden edges. So now I can see the computer. Now, depending on where you place the computer, uh, we can make some air vents. So let's um, right click, create sketch, make a line in the center, make it a construction line, press C for circle. And now let's say that we want a 130 millimeter radiator here. It doesn't matter exactly where it is in space, but it can be here. It's not a defined sketch. In this case, it's not uh, that bad because we can change it later if we want. Press E for extrude and extrude it all the way through. So all the way through the other cabinet and this beautiful program shows you that it's going to extrude uh, everything. It's also extruding the computer so if you don't want it just uh, deselect the computer, press OK and now it made a cutout uh, through the side of the body. Don't forget to uh, dimension this um, uh, side panel um, fan cutout. So here is our fan cutout. Now let's say, let's put my computer back in. Let's say that my computer has a beautiful window in front. So let's make that one as well. Create a sketch. 
Now the computer is not centered as you can see, but I can move the computer. Oh, I need to get out of sketch mode. Let's orientate the computer. Let's move it a little bit, put it a little bit in the center. It does not need to be perfect, but just like this. The computer will be a little bit higher also because it's on wheels, just like this. And of course you can take uh, exact dimensions also. Let's uh, make a sketch for the front panel. And now let's make a, a line, construction line of course. Another line, construction line, Constru construction. Now press S and type uh, center rectangle. Uh, there we are. And now we make a beautiful window, which can be, let's say, 375 by 350. But of course you can give this any dimension you would like. Now let's make a cutout, 18 millimeters. And um, if you are really professional, you could do an inlay of glass maybe uh, inside. And to do this, let me show you a quick tip. Let's get rid of the computer. Let's select the front panel, right click on it. Uh, and now you choose isolate. Now we go all the way to the back, all the way to here. And here we make another sketch. So we right click on it, create sketch. And now we press the offset key. So the O for offset. And we offset it by maybe 10 millimeters, uh, minus 10 millimeters, just like this. And I might do even 15 millimeters, just like this. Okay, finish sketch. Now we can select it, press E for extrude, and now we're actually not extruding, but we are cutting. And what we're going to do is we are cutting to the middle of the MDF panel, which is nine millimeters, plus um, uh, also the depth of your plexiglass or your glass. And normally I use three millimeter plexiglass. So now it's um, 12 millimeters uh, in, in depth. So this means that if you have a glass window, uh, you can lay it in here. Let me uh, generate a, a window uh, quickly. Uh, let me see. What we can do is many things, but let's select this face, extrude it all the way to this part here. Let's say new body. And now let's take this body isolate this and now this body you can see the depth of it here it's 12 millimeters and it needs to be uh, three millimeters so i need to make it move it press the m for moving it and i move it minus nine millimeters so now three millimeters is left and like this now i can unisolate this body and now Let's open up the side panel. You can see that it's in here. And to make it easier to see, we could right click the glass, click appearance, type in glass, uh, window, select it, uh, drag it all the way to the glass and close it up. And now you can see that this is the glass window. You can do that on the back as well. Um, where, it is, where is it? Appearance, glass. And now you have a better view. So this will be your glass panel. So you can see your computer with all the nice fans and the RGB uh, LEDs, etc. Um, okay. Let's move the marquee holder a little bit to the back because we need a glass panel for the marquee as well. So let's press M to move it. But if we move it like this, we move it all the way through the panel, which we don't want. So. Oh, select it, move it, choose set pivot and set the pivot right here on this line. Don't forget to press done, otherwise it doesn't work. Select the arrow and now you can move it uh, on this line, which is really easy. So let's put it a little bit above the speakers, just like this. I select this face, I press E for extrude. I extrude it by three millimeters. This will be, or sorry, six millimeters. We are going to use real glass. Make it a new body, just like this, and this will be our glass. And of course, I can give this a glass uh, texture as well, just like this. 
uh, and now this is a glass uh, window. We'll call it marquee, marquee glass. Oh, marquee glass. And this, but what is this body? This is the uh, front PC window, three millimeter plexi. Let's give this glass a texture as well, appearance texture. If you drag it to the front, you will only do the front of the uh, body. If you do it on the side, you can see that the entire plexi is um, selected. It will ask you to remove appliances, yeah, appliances. And now it's a complete glass uh, panel. So all the glass is done now. So let's see how we are doing with the time. So we have two minutes left. So we have not enough time to start with the control panel. This will be in part four. Uh, but let's um, give you another nice feature, a uh, nice tip. So let's press insert and go to um, insert McMaster car component. And not a car component, but with double R. And now type in whatever you want, like casters, caster wheels. Now these, you have a wide selection of caster wheels. So let's say a low profile, a swivel ones or whatever you want with a brake. Let's do swivel ones. Now let's see, these are uh, I think two inches, which is about right. Let's click on them. And now you have this uh, uh, CAD option. Let me make this a little bit bigger. There it is. So you have this CAD option. Uh, choose uh, step as CAD file, choose download. And now by magic, we have a caster here. So, Let's turn this caster around a little bit, just like this. Let's turn it 90 degrees. Now, as um, uh, it might be easier to do this at the bottom. This was the timer for the 20 minute mark. Uh, let me go to the bottom. Let me put the caster here. And it's... Um, not right yet. So let's select it, move it up. Let's go to the right so we can see where it needs to move, just like this. Now Ctrl C, Ctrl V, capture position, all the way to the back, just like this. And we can do that again. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, then I go to the bottom again. I move them all the way to this side. And now we've added casters. So now our cabinet can write, which makes it far more easy to work with it in your workshop. So in the next video, uh, we keep continue working on the design and uh, we are going to build the control panel and uh, all the button cutouts and the holes, etc., etc., etc. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, please do send emails if you have any kind of questions, arcade related, or if you want a custom um, a design or you want a custom build, of course, you can always contact me. So uh, for now, uh, see you in part four. Bye.